Cinnaboy Downs is proud to present our featured race here in race number three. It's the 34th running of the Lavarandre Stakes. They're going to go six furlongs for a purse of $27,500. Number one is Lady Cloud, owned by Eddie Mesa, trained by Francis Mesa with Richard Mares. Number two is Solon's Warning, owned by Wendy Anderson and Bill Michael, trained by Tom Gardaby Jr. with Tim Moccasin. Number three is CJ's Flair, owned by Murray Duncan and the estate of Gerald B. Stewart, trained by Murray Duncan with Tyrone Nelson. Number four is Eyes Have It, owned by Bill Gorno and Curtis Roweeder, trained by Jerry Gorno with Caleb Pizarro. Number five is Escape Claws, owned by Barry Arneson, True North, and Don Schnell, trained by Don Schnell with Adolfo Morales. Rounding out our featured field is number six, Stevie Mac. Owned by Shelley Brown, Scott Anderson, and Larry Falloon. Trained by Shelley Brown with Antonio Whitehall. Post time for the Lover Andre. Set the post. And they're off in the Lover Andre. Quickly from the outside, that's Escape Clause who clears. To a one length advantage, Stevie Mac now rolls up alongside in second, hugging the rail in third. That's CJ's flair with eyes have it on the outside, and then it's a length and a half back to Solon's warning, and your trailer will be Lady Cloud. The opening quarter, 23 and 3, and now Stevie Mac takes over. The lead by a length, Escape Claws goes to the outside. And is coming back at Stevie Mac in second. CJ's Flair still right there in third. Then it's back to Ice Have It. Solon's Warning making a little move. And the trailer Lady Cloud, the half 46 and 2 in Escape Claws. Now powers to the lead by two. Stevie Mac is falling back to second. CJ Flair is going to try and keep up. But at the 16th pole, it's Escape Claws. She's going to take the Laver Andre by three. CJ Flair is second best. Stevie Mack in third. And fourth goes to Eyes Have It. Closure is the official winner of the 34th running of the Laver Andre. That's number five, Escape Claws. Escape Claws is a Bay Philly, four years old, by going commando out of the Mayor Danger Pay by circulating. Owned by Barry Arneson, True North, and Don Schnell. Trained by Don Schnell and ridden a victory by Adolfo Morales. Time for the six furlongs, 111. Number five escape clause was proudly bred right here in Manitoba by Cam Ziprick and Arneson Farms. And Assiniboy Downs is pleased to have on hand simulcast and program director Sherry Glendening who made a presentation to the winning connections. Race three is official in the upcoming fourth race. Kicking off 15% takeout pick four wagering our fan of the day race. There are no changes, but we'll carry on with the rest of the legs of the pick four, but there's no changes in race five six or seven 15 percent takeout pick four wagering starts right here in race number four our fan of the day purse and they'll go to post in seven other than new gear on the cruise control nothing much i can't take any credit for it i mean i just hop on and she broke really sharp and uh i thought uh, uh, Stevie Mac, she was gonna go to the lead but uh she didn't break, so I had to leave by myself. And then when I seen her going, going by me, just took her back, and I got her on the clear, and the rest of his history. 
Yeah, it really was over. Even Stevie Mac ranged up and went past you. You looked like you had tons of horse uh, the entire time. And you ranged on Bayer as you came around the turn and kind of won as you pleased. How did you feel kind of coming down the lane? Anything uh, else to add other than that, though? No, we had a full tank. It really did look like that 111 and change, or 111 flat, sorry, stopping the timer. Anything else to add other than a tremendous victory here, Adolfo? Well, once again, I want, just want to thank uh, Barry, the two North Sables, and Don Chanel. They're doing an awesome job. I'm just a pilot, and I'm trying to be a good passenger. Thank you, Adolfo. Congratulations. We'll move on to Don here. Here's a filly. Uh, she's been a little bit on the road. She went with you to Phoenix. She saw Zia in Calgary and Minnesota. Gets back to Winnipeg. Talk a little bit about the winter she's had getting ready for a big win today. Well, we took her down to Zia Park. I, I really thought we maybe should have been second in that race. We got pinned in on the rail and, and um, didn't, didn't do what we thought she could do. But then we give her the winner off and brought her back, give her a couple of races in Minneapolis. And um, she run good in both of those, run a third and a second. And um, brought her up here to her home stomping grounds. And um, she's glad to be back. And so are we. Yeah, she really looked like she was glad to be back. Really kind of playing with the competition there. Anything else to add? Anything else to look forward to here to get excited about this filly other than just tremendous performance after performance? Well, I think she's even growing up and filled out a little from last year. I know maybe that's not what the competition wants to hear, but uh, she's a super filly. I uh, just love her. Just a privilege to have her in the barn. She is a tremendous filly at that. Congratulations, Don. We'll move on to Barry here just to talk real quick about this filly. Another victory. She did it with all the ease you could ever want. Talk a little bit about this special filly. Oh, I was down at the barn today and uh, having a look at her and I saw a zipper uh, just before the race and there were co-breeders on it and it's hard to believe uh, just to be fortunate enough to be a part of a, of a horse like that and when she gets into her home park uh, she's pretty tough to, to beat, you know. We thought well if Diodora brought his over, we, we'll take him on, you know, like, but she's a wonderful filly and uh, just hope that we can keep her sound and uh, have some more fun with her. Sounds like a good goal to have. Uh, anything else really to look forward to? Uh, I believe there's a couple of younger escape clauses kicking around? Yeah, we've been lucky. We uh, can't get a colt out of Old Danger Pay, but we're getting more fillies, and they're, and they're coming up. Uh, and actually, Charlie is partners with us. So looking forward to hope that uh, uh, she uh, comes back, and we plan on keeping her here if we can race her here, and then on to Calgary again. And uh, maybe if we have to, we'll go back to Minneapolis. Congratulations once again. Escape Clause, a tremendous victory here in the Laver Andre. As she pleased, back up to you, Kurt.